Let me take you through new ArcGIS server role, a service driven ArcGIS workflow manager. Processes are lifeline of any business or an organization. Process automation helps them streamline individual activities and resource utilization while improving quality and collaboration. ArcGIS Workflow Manager with its new service driven deployment architecture provides a scalable enterprise workflow management system that automates and simplifies GIS as well as non-GIS work in an organization. Let us take example of land records department. Land records administration is a highly process intensive task which include multiple stakeholders. Let us see how we can automate, simplify and digitize land records updation using ArcGIS Workflow Manager. ArcGIS Workflow Manager provides easy to use options to configure your workflows as per the business needs. Here you can see I have already created a complete workflow for land records updation. And this particular workflow includes both manual as well as automated tasks such as sending of email. And this task can be assigned to different departments or different users from the same department. Here the scenario is one of my friends Mr. Ravi Kumar who owns a land parcel wants to correct his name in land records and for that he has already submitted a request along with the supporting documents. Here I can see the request. Now let us start the job and take a tour of this particular workflow. For this scenario I would be executing most of the steps as an administrator. Now here you can see the new job and I'm still unable to see all the properties. Just for that I'm going to use work order ID and pull data from survey123. So let's proceed and now you can see all the details have been now added in this particular workflow. Now let's start with the next step which is adding attachments where we are going to add documents such as affidavit, rectification deed and original sale deed and let's proceed and now you can see the attachments now has been included in the workflow. Next, the officer responsible here will validate the documents and proceed with the next step. After validating the documents, we'll send email to the applicant and that applicant that we have processed your request. Now next, we'll start and add location. So we can see here the parcel details, the parcel number is 2306, we'll go ahead and add a location here in this particular web map. You can see location has been selected now. We will go ahead and proceed with the next step where we will be sending email to the data editor that job has been assigned to you. Now you can see the job of administrator is completed here. Let's sign in as admin administrator here and complete the rest of the steps. data edit. Let's run this particular step and we can see web, app, web application gets launched with it and using this filter tool I am going to search for the parcel number 2306. Now using this basic editing functions available with web application I am going to, going to update the details of this particular parcel. Let's update the details, attribute details here and close it. Once the update is completed, we'll go ahead and finish this particular task. The next task, task is about field visit, where the administrator will decide whether the field visit is required or not. Since it's required in this case, we'll go ahead and click yes. Now let's run the step, which will launch workforce for ArcGIS web page, where We'll assign this particular assignment type. We'll define the address as a 2306 parcel number. We'll assign it to the mobile worker. We can give the same ID that we have received from survey123. And, and I'm going to attach plot report for the field crew. 
where they can refer this plot report in the field. And let's create an assignment. For mobile data collection and editing, we are going to use new ArcGIS fields map. This is the dedicated web page of ArcGIS field maps. ArcGIS field maps is integrated into three applications such as Explorer for ArcGIS, Collector for ArcGIS and Tracker for ArcGIS. With this web page, you can configure maps for offline use. You can also enable streaming, snapping, as well as location tracking. And also, you can configure smart form. And you can enable conditional visibility on these fields with the help of arcade expression. Now, let's go back to the field survey where field crew have received assignment on their mobile phone. Now, using this compass function, I can see the distance between my current location to the assigned location. So you can see it's roughly two and a half kilometer. Now, next, I'm going to use this directions button here to find out the shortest route between my location to the assigned location using Navigator for ArcGIS application. And as you can see here, we have got the route. And the advantage of using Navigator for ArcGIS application is this app works completely in offline environment and you can add your own route network. Now, let's start the field data collection using new field maps app. So this is the interface of new app where I can see that particular parcel. I'm going to click it and get the details of it. And here in this way, I can edit it. Before we edit this parcel, I need to give survey name and survey ID. So for that, I'm going to use this inbuilt barcode scanning functionality and scan the ID from uh, my ID, uh, scan the barcode from my identity card. Let's go ahead and submit it. Next, after the field verification step is done, we'll go ahead and finish the particular step. And then we'll pass the step to the review, uh, reviewing committee where they will review the edits, whether the updates performed by editor team are as per the request or not. So we can see here, editing team has correctly updated the record. So we'll go ahead and finish this step as well. Then we'll send email to the admin that job has been completed. We'll go ahead and send an email to the applicant that we have processed your complete request. And finally, we'll send a copy to the applicant's address and then finish the job. Now, with the help of this manage tab, the manager can see all the jobs and the jobs which are overdue. The scenario that we just saw on land records updation is just one type of workflow. Organizations can have many types of workflows, which include site inspections, land use planning, document management and approvals, mobile apps, and fully automated workflows. The capabilities across the entire ArcGIS system, such as ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Enterprise, ArcGIS Survey123, Workforce for ArcGIS, and ArcGIS Field Maps can be leveraged for workflow automation. Thank you.